What's up, guys? Let's have a quick look across the market real quick before we get uh, into our main story here. Bitcoin, 60,600, a little bit of a dip today, guys, a little bit of a dip to do. Uh, down it goes, 2.8%. Market kind of followed suit. So hopefully you had some dry powder on the side and you were ready to pounce all over this. Uh, market cap's down to $1.19 trillion. Uh, so, yeah, anyway. Let's uh, let's have a look at uh, Mr. What Mr. Patrick McHenry has to say. So uh, the House uh, House to consider financial innovation and technology for the 21st Century Act. Today in the House uh, Committee on Rules, publicly noticed its in, uh, publicly noticed its intent to consider the financial innovation and technology for the 21st Century Act, clearing a pathway for a floor vote later that later this month. Uh, the fit for the 21st Century Act is an important first step to, uh, towards achieving regulatory clarity for digital assets. Fit 21 provides a robust, time-tested consumer protections and regulatory certainty necessary to allow the digital asset ecosystem to flourish in the United States. Quote, for far too long, the U.S. digital asset ecosystem has been plagued by regulatory uncertainty that has stifled innovation and left consumers unprotected, uh, said House Financial Services Committee Chair Patrick McHenry. Uh, this comprehensive market structure legislation, the Financial Innovation and Technology for the 21st Century Act, is the, is the uh, culmination of years of bipartisan efforts to finally provide clarity this includes an unprecedented joint effort by the House Financial Services and Agriculture Committees, numerous hearings and feedback from members of stakeholders alike, members and stakeholders alike. With the floor vote announced today, <clears throat> Congress will take a historic step to provide a clear regulatory framework for digital asset markets. This legislation will cement American leadership of, uh, of the global financial system for decades to come and bolster our role as the international hub for innovation. Uh, I thank Speaker Johnson, Leader Scalis, uh, and Whip Emmer uh, for giving this much needed legislation the floor time it deserves. I look forward to taking a monumental step to finally deliver the transparency, accountability, and consumer protection that the digital asset ecosystem desperately needs. <clears throat> FIT21 is a regulatory foundation to safeguard uh, consumers and investors, but also uh, propels American leadership in the digital finance, uh, said G, uh, Glenn Thomas. Our collaborative effort established the essential clarity and security needed to foster innovation and ensure our nation's prominence in the global technological revolution. This is the product of extensive feedback from stakeholders and market participants and historic uh, coordination with the Financial Services Committee. This legislation is deeply needed. I am excited to be able to advance that effort today. After tirelessly working across the aisles and across the nation over the past year to craft a clear, pragmatic regulatory framework for digital assets, I am proud that this landmark legislation is coming to the House floor, said Congressman French Hill. As the collapse of FTX demonstrated, we need strong consumer protection and financial regulatory frameworks to ensure the rapidly growing digital asset ecosystem is safe for investors and consumers while securing Americans, sorry, America's, America as a leader for blockchain innovation. I particularly thank Chairman Patrick McHenry House Agriculture Committee Chairman G.T. Thomas and Agriculture Subcommittee Chairman Dusty Johnson. Uh, that, is the, that is the most epic name ever, Dusty Johnson, by the way, uh, for their leadership and collaboration. And I applaud each of the members of our committee uh, that have helped this significant legislation move one step closer to becoming law. Uh, the Fit for the 21st Century Act is a historic piece of legislation uh, with two committees working jointly to craft a framework for digital assets in the United States, said Dusty Johnson. Uh, there's been a regulatory gap for far too long, and America is at risk of losing innovative markets for other countries who have already established regulations and market participants, for market participants. 
It's time to provide clarity and regulatory authority to the Commodities Futures Trading Commission and the SEC to provide customer protection and, uh, mark, and, and market oversight. I welcome the committee's action on our bill and hope to see it in the House floor soon. <clears throat> so a quick background, guys. On July 20th, 2023, Chairman Glenn Thompson, Rep. French Hill, and Dusty Johnson, uh, Tom Emmer, and Warren Davids, uh, Davidson introduced H.R. 4763, the Financial Innovation and Technology for the 21st Century Act. Patrick McHenry is a co-sponsor of the legislation. FIT 21 establishes clear and functional federal requirements over digital asset markets. It provides the robust consumer protection and regulatory clarity necessary for the digital asset ecosystem to thrive in the U.S., cementing American leadership of the global financial system in the, uh, of the future while reinforcing our roles as, as a hub of innovation. The legislation provides Com uh, Commodity Futures Exchange Commission with new jurisdiction over the digital asset commodities and clarities uh, uh, sorry, and clarifies the Securities and Exchange Commission's jurisdiction over digital assets offered as part of the investment contract. Additionally, the bill establishes a process to permit the secondary market trading of digital commodities. Uh, if they were, I love how they're wording it as digital commodities, just to stick it in Gary Ginsler's face because he likes to call them digital asset securities, right? <laughs> uh, if they were initially offered as part of an investment contract, finally, H.R. 4763 imposes comprehensive uh, customer disclosure asset safeguarding and optional requirements or oper operational requirements, sorry, on all entities required to be registered with the CFTC and or the CSEC. Uh, so there you go, guys. So basically what they're saying here is they're granting access to the commodities part of digital assets to the CFTC, right? Uh, which qualifies as all, all digital assets that are sold in the secondary market, all of them, probably including NFTs and things like that as well, if they're sold on the secondary market, right? Uh, and then it would obviously grant authority to the SEC over uh, ICOs and, and like uh, that kind of thing, right? Like what happened with Ripple, uh, in, in their case or whatever, right? So that's that's where the securities part would come into play. If these projects do initial coin offerings and stuff like that, that would have that sale would have to be registered as a security sale, right? Because it's wrapped up as a security. However, on the secondary market, once again, digital assets, altcoins, NFTs sold on the secondary market under this legislation would not be securities and Gary Ginsler would be screwed screwed he could no longer go after the exchanges he could no longer go after and just randomly name all these digital assets this is massive news and i know i know that the white house said that they're going to veto it are you really going to do that in an election year though he might be bluffing you never know we'll have to see what happens guys but this finally we're getting some action if this is to pass guys if this is to pass right every single court case that gary ginsler is involved in right now gets thrown out Every single one of them, because they none of them hold any water at this point, right? And do you think for one second, on the other hand, too, think about this for a second, too. Do you think that judges that are involved in current ongoing litigation with the SEC and crypto exchanges like Coinbase, Binance, whatever else, right? Uh, Ethereum Foundation, whatever it is, right? Uh, do you think that the judges are not reading this right now and saying, oh, so Congress agrees with Judge Torres in that... The secondary sales of digital assets are not security sales, right? Judges are paying attention. Judges are people too, guys. So bullish all around. Let me know what you guys think. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, guys. Click the join button to become a VIP member of the channel. You don't want to miss that. Supports the channel and uh, you get a whole bunch of extra bullish content, guys, to help you make the most amount in your portfolio. Uh, join the Patreon as well. You get all that and much, much more. Uh, follow me on X, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.